Thank you Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. More about them in a little bit. I've now worked as a full-time content creator for a month, and my new life with just one job has changed my weekly routines for obvious reasons. I no longer have an 8-to-5 job to go to, but can plan and use my time as I see fit. I really enjoy that end of work week feeling and didn't want to miss out on that, so I created a Friday routine for myself that I'll share with you today. As always my morning starts with a fast paced walk around the nearby lake slash canal. I don't set an alarm but get up early anyway. I'm usually in my walking gear at 6.30am. During my walk I listen to podcasts and audiobooks, and they're a really good incentive. It's like I get to listen, which makes me want to walk even more. This used to be all factories and industrial lots and not accessible to the general public, but now it's a beautiful area for walking. This was a rainy and windy day, but all days are great for walking in my book. I'll soon be home and all cozy inside. My walk takes roughly an hour, so I'm back home at around 7.30. Then I get ready for the day and have some coffee. I usually start my Friday workdays at the computer doing some admin. It's been an adjustment, I'll tell you that. For the first couple of weeks I was still the energizer bunny. I was so used to fitting two jobs into a day, so when I had all this time to spend it felt strange. I would still kind of be sitting on the edge of my seat and hurry, not remembering that what I used to have to do in a couple of hours in the evening, I could now spend a whole day on and dive deeper into. From the start I decided that I would try and keep work to the weekdays and save weekend for other activities. Whereas I've added tasks to my digital calendar Monday through Thursday, I've kept Fridays clean and don't schedule anything work related. Instead I try to finish off as much as I can before the weekend starts. At around 10 I eat something and have some tea. My favorite teas currently are Puka Original Chai and Feel New. Then I move on to finishing up some creative bits that are left, like photography, editing or script writing. Oh, by the way, if you're new here and like what you see so far, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I share simple living, minimalism and my life here in Stockholm every other Tuesday. Thank you! In the afternoon I'll go downtown to run some errands and just walk around for a bit. This is one of the best bits about working for myself. I can just leave my job at any time of day and not have to wait until my lunch hour, after work or on the weekend. My Friday errands usually include picking up some flowers or greener for the weekend, buy some wine, get some groceries, that kind of thing. I'll also get things from the pharmacy or replenish items that have run out. On this occasion I got a sink plug for my son and some white vinegar for cleaning. I also needed nail files and mascara. This one claims volume without length, which sounds promising. 
At the pharmacy, I got some supplements. I found my Friday bouquet and headed to Systembolaget. Here in Sweden you can only buy alcohol in special shops with limited opening hours. I looked for my favorite kava but they were all out. Got my Chardonnay. Next stop some snacks and then home. When I get home on Fridays, I clean my apartment. I love being able to do this on a Friday instead of on the weekend. First I tidy everything away that's not where it's supposed to be. Sometimes I also need to move furniture back where it belongs because I need to move things to fit the equipment I use. Then I dust or wipe surfaces everywhere. The bathroom also gets a good scrubbing so it's nice and clean for the weekend. I finish by vacuuming and, if needed, wet mopping. At around 5 pm, I do a last email check and answer anything urgent. Any work related emails that arrive after that, I try not to read or answer until Monday. Then I take a look at next week's schedule and add any tasks that come to mind to my to-do list for that week. That way I'm all set on Monday and can dive right in instead of looking back to see where I was at on Friday. The last work-related thing I do is to put my desk into weekend mode. That means I tidy it and shut my computer down. Shutting it down signals that I can't just sit down quickly to do anything work-related over the weekend. Once my whole apartment is clean and tidy, I get the flowers out that I bought. And it's at this point that I'm ready to get cozy. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Organic Basics. If you've followed me for a while, you know I love them. Organic Basics is a carbon-neutral Copenhagen-based brand creating underwear, activewear and everyday essentials. Their clothing is ethically made in Europe with organic, recycled and eco-friendly materials. Sustainability is at the core of what they do and they're also a member of 1% for the planet. I love a good basic and their line of sweats and hoodies is the best. There is a classic sweatpant which you can mix and match with mid-weight or heavyweight sweatshirts and hoodies. 
They use GOTS certified organic cotton and that standard guarantees that no harmful chemicals were used to grow it and that the people that made it are paid living wages and treated fairly. I love the classic grape but they also come in great fall colors such as mustard and cedar. This super soft and cozy set is a perfect fall evening outfit for lounging around in at home. To be honest, I want to wear it all the time. I want my bottoms to be on the smaller side and top slightly oversized, so while I'm normally a medium, I chose small for the sweatpants and large for the mid-weight sweat hood. If you aren't sure about your size, I find that their size guides are really accurate. So get your measuring tape out and find your perfect size. Underneath I wear one of my white Organic Basics t-shirts. I have a discount code for 10% off if you would like to try some sweats, hoodies or t-shirts or something else from Organic Basics. You'll find the link and discount code in the description box below. Thank you Organic Basics! At this point it's time to turn on all the window lights. I also light candles. And that was my end of work week routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment, it really helps my channel. If you're looking for sources for things, you might get lucky in the description box. There's now a link that takes you to my website where I'm collecting all the links for you. Let me know if you're missing one. And don't forget the discount code for 10% off at Organic Basics in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hey